Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Still Brood and Reviewed. My name is John, I'm at the Sipping Den. If you're new here, I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol. And I do my famous Sunday morning corp reviews. Now, I have one of the most um, comprehensive playlists on YouTube. If you will go to my playlists and um, search them, I have all of those alcohols broken down into categories makes it so easy to check out appreciate a sub of course right that's what i'm working for otherwise this is free to you right uh today we're doing a wine we're doing a good wine we're doing samuel robert uh pinot noir we're doing two we're doing the family reserve right, which is uh about 18.99 give or take and whoops excuse me we're doing the um Vintners uh, Reserve, about $15.99, $3 more. What is the difference? Well, usually, I don't know. I couldn't find anything. I'd like to think that the Family Reserve, which is $3 more, uses what they consider grapes from a better area, better quality fruit. Maybe they age it a little longer. I don't know. We're going to see if it's worth it. I will say this. This is from Oregon, um, from the uh, Willamoot Valley. Uh, some of the best Pinots arguably grown in the United States are grown here. Uh, I like this winery. They make a, a um, rosé made out of the Pinot Noir grape. Very good. It was one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites for the money. Pinot Noirs, we all know, they're finicky. They can be watery. They can be too light. They can be robust a little bit. Um, but they're generally... To get a good one, you have to spend a lot of money. The secret, when I find something that is good for a good price, that's the key. Anybody can go get a $100 bottle of wine and claim it's good, and they like it, and on and on and on. Can you get a $20, $25, $15 bottle of wine that's good? Yeah, you have to search for it. You have to know what you're doing a little bit. I found them. These are good. What I've never done is compared them side by side. So I want to see if the 50, if I have to spend $18.99, if it's worth the extra $3. We'll see. Here's the family reserve. Look, I've gotten into it. <laughs> That's what I want to do this before I finish. It has the yellow. And here's the Vintner's Reserve. Okay? It's got red. See? Same label. One's yellow, one's red. Um, 2019, both of them. Perfect. Let's see. You know what you usually get at a peanut? Well, we'll see, we'll see if, it's, uh, if it's worth it. I'm excited to see that. So cap it's okay with me all right let's uh here is the and a little bit about the, this here uh started by a husband and wife um team uh and brian uh colho uh samurai wine passion is introducing wine drink to the luxury of william uh valley pinot noir I think it's got to be more than that. Let me see. Oregon has been involved in the wine industry for three generations. This family has. Um, the Coho family of Amity, Oregon, has been involved in the wine industry for three generations. Samuel Coho and his wife, Bryn, opened Samuel Robert Winery to follow their passion of introducing wine enthusiasts to the luxury of Williamut Valley Pinot Noir. Whatever. Let's see if that... The stuff's good. Okay, I, I do love this winery. Um... So let's do the vintners, what I'll call the red, because of the red here, and the uh, red here. And then we will do the family reserve, which I call the gold, or the yellow, because of the gold, and the gold here, all right? And we will compare them. I've had them both, and I like them both. I've never had them together, and that's what I'm excited about, because I want to see if it's worth the three bucks. All right. Uh, let's let that open up a second. So here's the, well, I'll give you the color. Color is, i got a light right here, identical. Cherry red. Let's smell. Hmm. All right, well, Vintner's Reserve. It's a cherry blossom looking for a place to happen. Um, cherry. 
cherries, blackberries, not as much strawberry. And almost Pinot Noir always throws strawberry for me, but we'll get more of a cherry and a blackberry on this. It's fresh fruit in general. A touch of cinnamon. Very good. The more expensive one. The reserve. The vin uh, excuse me, the family reserve. see something. When I swirl it, the Family Reserve is a brighter color. Not as cherry. More of a plum. With the raspberry. Hmm. This difference. Let's uh let's try it. I, I just I'm telling you for the money. For the money. This is a really good Pinot Noir. And I do kinda pride myself on when I can find good wines at a good price. Like I say, anybody can go and get a hundred dollar bottle of wine and say it's good and this and that takes no skill okay it's fun to do and I let's see if they're worth a hundred and I do that once in a while but the, the mastery is finding the inexpensive wines that are good that's the key that's what I try and do mm. um, 13 okay both of oh here yeah, both of them 13.5 ABV. Very fruity on the uh, on the Vintners Reserve. Very fruity, very easy to drink. Light tannins, medium. Good acid on it. A little bit of tannin, but a little soft on the tannin. Makes it easy to drink. Very red cherry. I am getting strawberry now that I said I wasn't getting... Um, raspberry, blackberry type thing going on. Just very fruity, very mild as far as the um, tannins. Very good, I said good. Now let's try the uh, family reserve, the gold. Should have done it blind. It's easier when I have someone to help me though, right? I could do it and mix it up. I got no money in it. I'll be as honest as I can. Try not to let it influence me. A little more tannin. A little more structure on it. Acidity is the same. Tannin is stronger. That means it is probably aged longer because its extract has more time to extract the tannins from the skins, from the stems, and from the barrel. I'm not getting more tannins, so it's got to be that's how they got it. Not only you get more tannin to bounce off that acidity, and it's fruit forward. So now when you have the fruit, the tannin, and the um, acids about equal, then that's called balance. It was a little out of balance, not a big deal. They must age just longer, and uh, that's why it costs a little more, um, and it's giving it a little more structure. As far as the flavor, uh, it is not as fruit and just fruit and lighty. It does have a smidgering of earthiness. Um, I think the Vintners Reserve is very good. I think their um, uh, Rosé is very good. Okay, I like this winery. Um, I like their Pinot Noirs. Uh, I do think the Vintners Reserve is is worth the three dollars. It's a, it's it's worth three dollars. Yeah, it is. If I was gonna drink it every day, I might save the three dollars. 
but to treat myself every once in a while on a, on a, on a, on a weekend or if I'm bringing it to somebody's house I'm gonna spend the extra three dollars just get that extra little oomph in it that extra little um, structure uh, and depth to it that's my opinion on it very good one if you haven't had it you really should try uh, Samuel uh, Robert now it's not Roberts a lot of people say Roberts it's Samuel Robert winery will you move to Valley Oregon do a fine job for a fine price and if you like uh, uh, rosés get the rosé made from the same grape right they just give it contact to give it a kiss of that uh, pink uh, color it's really good all right buddy thanks for being here and i'll see you all in the next one